Hey, this is Derek from mostinterestinglife.com, and uh, today I'll be talking about something that a lot of people always ask me, is they say, how is it that you've been able to travel so much? Um, I've been to like 30-something countries, six continents around the world. So far, I've seen uh, six out of seven wonders of the world, and you know, I, there's a lot that I'd still like to do, but I'd, I'd say so far, I've been able to do a lot of traveling, and there's no real one magic answer to make it happen. Uh, it's not like I've had a ton of money when I've traveled. I just made it a top priority. I didn't see not traveling as being acceptable. Um, anytime I would have off from a job, like in the United States, people don't get a lot of vacation time compared to the rest of the world. People in China actually get more vacation time than the average American worker, which is crazy. So if I worked at a job and I had only a week or two weeks off vacation, I would make sure that I'm leaving the country. Um, I wouldn't want to do one of these stupid staycations where people stay at home. They say that they, they're going to get so much work done, so many errands that they're going to catch up. No, nah, like most people end up just sleeping late, watching TV, sitting around their house, and next thing you know, vacation's over and they're back to work. So no, none of that. I would make sure that, hey, Time-wise, I'm leaving the country. Uh, you know, travel does not have to be too expensive, um, especially if you're used to living in the United States. I, I live in Long Island, New York. Um, you know, most other countries that you go to are, are the same price at worst, like if you're in maybe Tokyo or Moscow um, or Japan. Uh, you know, it's just... Things, some things can be cheaper there than they are here, even in an expensive place like that. Um, a lot of hotels, they're inexpensive. There's Airbnbs, there's hostels in countries. So a lot of times the uh, the flight is the most expensive part. So anyway, it's just no matter what, I would just make sure that if I didn't have the money, I'd, I'd put on a credit card. I mean, yeah, you don't want credit card debt. It's the worst type of debt. But on the alternative, you need to live your life. If you just constantly wait for the perfect time to travel, you're never going to travel. It's never going to happen. You, you'll you see your friends in, on Facebook and Instagram traveling around, and you're just waiting for that one day when you finally have the right money. Or, uh, you, I mean, maybe you'll have kids then. It'll be tougher to travel. Maybe you have kids now, and you're using that as an excuse. But it's it has to be a top priority. Anything in life that you make as a top priority, you're going to make happen. Um, you know, it's, most people waste ridiculous amounts of money going out to eat, um, and maybe drinking too, too much alcohol, spending money on that, uh, I mean, there's so many ways that people waste money where if they made it a priority to travel instead of doing those things or shopping or, or whatever it is, spending more money than they need to, if they put that money towards traveling, they would be able to travel. It's just not, apparently it's not a priority for them. I mean, once I quit a job that I, I didn't like and I took a cash advance on my credit card for $5,000 and I went to Europe for a month. Um, uh, after that, I, hey, I, I'm a guy that's been to 11 countries in Europe. All those things I've seen in movies my whole life and um, movies and books, I hey, I can relate because I've been to the Roman Colosseum, I've been to, uh, I've seen Big Ben in London, I've been to the Eiffel Tower in Germany, Amsterdam, I've I've seen a lot of these things, and you know, that's one thing, is this, travel is one thing that you spend money on that it stays with you, it's an investment in just living a, an interesting life, so I've always seen it as a top priority to, no matter what, make sure that I travel. I remember one time I wanted to go to Costa Rica, and I was broke at the time, and I had no idea how I was going to do it. Uh, I mean, a flight was about $400, hotels, you could get really cheap hotels, I was looking to spend about $50 a night hotel, um, you could eat cheap there, you could get decent meals for 4 or $5 once you're there, taxis are pretty cheap, um, but I had zero money saved for a trip, so what did I do? I started saying, all right, where are ways that I spend money? Um, maybe I'll go out at night and I'll buy a couple of beers. So what I would do is I would say, all right, I would normally have maybe four or five beers a night going out. Tonight I'm going to have three beers. And if I'm going to usually a, 
a club where it's charging five or six dollars a beer plus tip, I would co- go home, write down, I saved six dollars or so on a beer times two, that's twelve dollars. Um, or I would, if I was driving a, a distance, uh, I would drive, they, they say that optimal gas mileage is 60 miles an hour, and if maybe I, maybe I'm driving faster than that uh, sometimes, or I would look to drive the, the optimal mileage, I go home, and like, oh, maybe I saved a dollar or two on gas, or not accelerating very quickly. Um, that's a, a, a way that I was looking to save money. I would accelerate slowly, you know, still driving safe, but looking to drive in a way that is more fuel efficient for my car. Then I'd say, all right, I saved $3 there. I saved $12 drinking less beers. Or maybe um, if I was looking to get food somewhere, I'd instead of going out to eat, even, even if it was just fast food and spending $6 on a meal, um, at the time I, would, I was spending, uh, I was eating a little bit worse. So I'd, I'd go to Burger King and stuff like that. So instead I'd say, all right, what do I have at home? Do I have something? Even if it was just like a ramen noodle, hey, that's six, seven dollars saved, and I kept on doing that um, for about two months, and I had enough for a flight, hotels, transportation, food, just some basic stuff. So I ended up having a few other things come together that just made it a lot more comfortable of a trip. But that was just how serious I took it in order to travel. I said, no matter what, I'm gonna nickel and dime myself in savings. I'd go home, I had a little box, and I would write down how much I saved, I'd put the money in a separate box, and my travel fund grew to the point where I was able to make a trip. So you really, you know, people, people could travel if they want to, it's just they're lazy, or they want short-term uh, food or drinks, or they, they, they waste money. I mean, do you really need to go to the movies and spend however much money? Or could you just uh, watch something online or go to like a Redbox and get like a $1 uh, DVD rental? I mean, there's always cheaper options for things. Do you need to buy a book or could you go to the library? Um, Do you need to buy something in a certain store or could you get it cheaper on eBay or Amazon or somewhere online? Um, Could you put off purchases? So that's one way to uh, save money and travel, just cut expenses and make it happen um it's so really it's just you you need to want to make it happen you need to just make it top priority time wise um you know no no the staycation nonsense um i mean there's an expensive places to go to too like uh if you want to if you've never traveled before you could go to these package deals to mexico Dominican republic you could do an all-inclusive type trip for like $600 a lot of times, and if you've never left the country, hey, that's a great step. My first trip that I took with my friends, or that was international, I went to Dominican Republic. You know, it was my first international trip. Um, I think it was like, it was around $600, all-inclusive flight, hotel, all food, drinks, everything. It's about $600. If you can't save up $600 for an annual international trip, I mean, you have problems. You have huge money problems then, and you really need to like, look at yourself and say, like, I need to just get a little bit more focus because otherwise you're going to find yourself 40, 50, 60, 70 at the, years old at the end of your life, and you'll have not done much, and you'll regret it. Whereas just a little focus, a little willpower, you could do something. So my first trip was to Dominican Republic, inexpensive, Great. I, that was my first international trip uh, as adult, no family, just friends. Uh, the next year, I went to Mexico. I went to um, Cancun, and it was I think that was like seven hundred dollars. And so the year after that, I ended up going to Brazil. I, I think that was fifteen hundred dollars because I did during Carnival. It was a really popular time of year, so everything was more expensive. And then it, things just blew up. I ended up going to Europe. I went end up going to Thailand. It's just that's another thing in life. A lot of things build momentum. Traveling is the same way. It's like people who get tattoos. They get one tattoo, all of a sudden they get more tattoos. Uh, everything in life is momentum. So, you know, making money momentum, you, it's just getting started. Doing the, that first thing is usually the toughest thing. And once you get past doing that first thing, in this case travel, once you take that first trip, you'll just... F- for some reason, find I, I don't know if it's psychological, it's just like a magical law of the universe. Things build momentum. That second trip will come easier, and these things will get more involved. Uh, you know, going to a uh, Dominican Republic was not a long flight, but 
as momentum built up. Next thing you know, I'm taking 17 hour direct flights to Thailand. And it's just, whereas previously that would have been crazy. So, you know, make it a priority, find ways to save money, travel cheap. If you need to, there are plenty of cheap ways to travel. I mean, if you live in the United States, you could go to an Island, you could go to Mexico, you could go to Central South America, or maybe South America, the flights tend to be a little more expensive, but Central America, you could usually get cheap flights. Um, even Europe, it's just like once you're there, you get a, you can get a flight, you look around for like five, six hundred dollars to Europe. Um, they have a great hostel system. I, I think when, when I had spent the, my month in Europe, I was spending, I was going to, I was staying in two or three star hotels. So I'd have air conditioning because it was the summertime. Uh, maybe there'll be a private bathroom. Maybe it'd be a dorm style floor bathroom on the floor, but decent rooms. I was spending $30 a night, $40 a night. Um, one night I was stuck in Nice because I, I, would, I would show up, I'd take a train, I bought an unlimited train pass and I'd go from town to town, um, city to city in Europe and I would show up and I'd go to the, the tourist office, which I mean, nowadays is even better travel sites where you could, uh, look things up, but I'd go to the tourist office, they would go on the computer, they would look to see what the cheapest last minute deal was. And I stayed in decent places, 30 or $40 a night. Um, but yeah, Nice, the travel office was closed when I went there. I didn't have a smartphone with me. Um, so I ended up spending a hundred something dollars a night, which was by far the most I had spent, um, at a hotel during that whole trip. So, I mean, you could travel for cheap. It's just, as long as you're not doing stupid things, uh, most big sites, they'll, they'll charge no more than $10 to go in and see them. Um, it's... There's a lot of cheap options. There's so many free things to do. Just experiencing the culture. You know, eat like the local people do. That's part of the whole experience of traveling. You, you go to a, a temple or something, it's usually free to go in. You go to some Buddhist temple in Thailand or you go to some great cathedral in uh, Europe or Latin America. It's it's cheap. It's, it's cheap. You could eat cheap. You could stay in cheap places, especially now with Airbnb. I mean, if you're really cheap, you could do one of those couch surfing type things. It's just the most expensive thing is usually the flight. And if you can't save up a couple hundred dollars for a flight, it's just, you know, you have, you have issues. Um, I mean, some, some types of travel are, are expensive. Uh, certain cities are expensive, but just get started with the small things. You know, you don't have to start out with that huge trip around the world uh, to an expensive city. You could start out in a, a cheap country with a $400 flight. Um, start there, build momentum, um, you know, check off things you want to do little by little, start with the easier things first and make it happen, make it a priority, make it happen, um, you know, leverage out your time to do it, uh, don't see not doing it as not an option, um, you know, there's, find other ways to make money, if you don't have enough money, it's just like, you know, y your life is gonna suck and, I mean, there's, Get an extra job if you have to. Get a temporary job if you have to. So, I mean, looking back in your life, 20 years from now, you'll have, you'll remember the traveling. Um, I mean, you might remember that at the time you're working extra hours, you're working extra hard, but it'll be worth it to, to look back and say you lived your life and you had real life experiences, real adventures, or, you know, a real interesting life, and it makes you a more interesting person. If you're talking to people that travel too, you'll have more to talk about. It's, you know, the average American doesn't even have a passport. It's, it's crazy. It takes so little to be more interesting than the average person, but you have to make it a priority. It's up to you. It's a decision. And once you decide and really focus, you can make it happen. It's not impossible. It's just all the things I spoke about in this video. Um, you could do it. You know, anyone could do it. It wasn't rocket science. It wasn't some crazy thing. I wasn't lucky to have all this money where people were paying for the trip. I made a priority. So you should too. So again, this is Derek, Most Interesting Life. Uh, if you like this video at all, you got anything, just give it a like. If you want to see uh, whatever videos I post about interesting subjects, subscribe. Um, go to my website. Uh, I appreciate all of it. Until then, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.